high school all afternoon. She joins us from the scene there tonight. Jennifer. Hi, Brian, we've got some new developments so far. Uh, NBC5 News has been advised that police are working on a theory that an unidentified person who might even be outside Vermont that's not confirmed yet co-opted the identity of an actual Essex student and communicated a threat of violence in that student's name, which could explain why it has been so difficult for authorities to give us a name or an identity of even a person of interest at this point. Right now, I want you to take a look at the events that happened, starting with a call that went into the Essex Police Department. Wednesday morning, a threatening call was made to the Essex Police Department. The Essex Police Department received a phone call uh, from a male subject who indicated that unless uh, we met uh, certain demands that uh, he was going to do harm uh, at the Essex High School. Uh, he advised that he had weapons and had explosives. The school went into lockdown as law enforcement rushed in to identify any threats. Students inside asked to take cover. I'm talking to a girl named Aiden and she said that in the classrooms that a bunch of cops came in and told them to put their hands up just to check them and then put backpacks in front of doors, shut off all the lights. Even with law enforcement on site, students were still frightened. Do you think that she sounds frightened at all? Did um, she see she anything she's else? She's shaking right now, so I'm sure she's very scared because that's obviously a traumatizing moment. Essex police say the threat was more serious than the ones they received in the past and kept the suspect on the phone. We have used the skills of negotiators to uh, to talk to the caller. Unfortunately, police say they are still unable to identify who made the threat, leaving the possibility of more. For now, the school has been cleared. There was no known threat uh, that was located either outside, no weapons, uh, no person uh, that, uh, that had a weapon inside the school. Around 2.05 in the afternoon, students began leaving the school classroom by classroom to meet their parents. Now, as you can see behind me, the scene is quite uh, not as active as it was earlier. There are still law enforcement inside a central command center that are wrapping their heads around the situation and trying to investigate just who caused it. And tonight, all school activities have been canceled. Now, I want to bring in Rachel Cars. She has been here alongside with me all day. You were on the other side of the building this morning when students were exiting and parents were waiting for them. What was that like? You know, Jen, emotions were flying all throughout the day today. Lots of tears, a lot of parents refusing to leave until they saw their children. 